Sometimes God slows you down so that evil ahead of you will pass before you get there. Remember that your delay could mean your protection. Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. So guys, this video is the video that is going to help me get off the funk of, you know, not committing to posting YouTube videos, slacking on editing. Today is Sunday, the 26th of May, which is the last day of the Chelsea in Bloom. You know, Chelsea, I did this thing last year, guys. This is just something I really love on my channel. And I was like, you know what, Stephanie, if I come and film this, edit it and post it today, I would get back on YouTube. Like, so help me God, fingers crossed. So yeah, I decided to come out with my sugar. And then this is kind of bonding for us as well because I haven't really brought her out. I've gone back to work. Work has been hectic. Let me stop yakking the Chelsea in bloom. 2024 in London. This is something that happens annually clearly and it's free and it's just gorgeous installations. The theme of this year is feasts and flowers and feasts of feasts and flowers. A lot of foodie stuff based on feasts and then flowers. So yeah just see how people get creative. I'm just going to start with Duke of York Square, King's Road, Sloan Street and then Pavilion Road. I'm just putting the you know locations and if I can get postcodes as well I'll put them although it's within three days I think it's about one week throughout the whole of this week you're still going to be seeing these installations you know different people are going to still have their own for up to a week so if you're in Chelsea and want to have a view of this beauty you should come if not sit back relax and let's have a good time watching this video my name is Stephanie guys and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform I'm also going to put this post on my Instagram. So if my if Instagram is a place where you play more, go there and check me out. Even if you don't play there, just go there, follow me. I'm Metro Gypsy. Okay? Alright, let's dig in. This is always the prime location for every stuff they do. Katy was down there and there's an installation there, so I'm going to walk there. There's also Tiffany and Cole, so we'll see if there's anything. For us by Tiffany, which I'm doubting, last year they had something really brilliant. So we got tired. <laughs> Doesn't look that monumental, but yeah, since we're passing, let's just have a look. So yeah, this is just giving waste management situation. So sustainability vibes, because I can see some random plastic stuff. And yeah, I guess we just got that waste and then try to make something of it. Okay, <laughs> this is something. Oh, this is so cute. Beautiful, look at you, glow in London. And obviously, we've got this beautiful swing where I wish I could sit down and take pictures of my baby.
So right now we're exploring King's Road. Obviously this was King's Road as well. We'll get on King's Road and see what the people them have to offer. Elke Bennett, I'm supposed to working with these people one kind, one kind, one kind, one kind. Do see my friend Ade Dominic, but God knows I don't even know how to do what I'm supposed to be doing with them. But yeah, this is Elke Bennett's own installation. This was their feast. So probably the rains have scattered this thing. So they had buttermilk scones for food. Did not take the flowers, but the flowers are all withered. So the ones taking these. And yeah, they have flowers as well. Oh, Royal Ascot was their event. Oh, bless you guys. 2,000 handcraft cakes, the teapots there, teacups, and the mug. And I guess there were flowers and scones over here. Um, another art thing. Oh, this is giving Ascot mini. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just gonna walk on King Road and see if there's any more. Duke of York Square is another place where they always have installations, summer, winter, just to mark any event. There's always like a flag thing. So if you're someone who takes pictures in Chelsea, always drop by Duke of York Square to see what's popping there. So this cafe, Vado, decided to join the party with this gorgeous container. Spotted something there. Let's see what they have in here. Partridges, pot. Lloyd's Bank decided to get into the phone. show you their product while you're here. How many rescue serum? I need that after this video. We need a pee. rusty with my movements like I literally left Duke York just square where I started I left this whole road where I should have come that's Pavilion Road there I was thinking Pavilion Road was further after King's Road and this Kiki McDonald's installation is one I really wanted to witness so I've come all the way back though it's still on my way to Night Street so it's not that bad but yeah I should have actually done all this before even heading out there anyway better late than never we're well, not even late <laughs> just better later than never yeah so this is Kiki McDonald's installation and I thought this was really cute from what I saw before coming here today. Here, 
Pavilion Road was somewhere to be there. The installations they had here were mental. This here, let's see what they've got. So we've got this here. Let's see the explanation. Candy floss. Oh my gosh, I should have guessed that. Final location is right by Harrod, <laughs> which will make it so easy for me to get home. So it's Capital Hotel, and we are walking then. I think it's Capital Hotel and Apartments, it's the full name. I'll probably put a postcode or something in the description for all the locations I visited. I think I'll I'll do that. I think this is quite elaborate. In five, four, three, two. One Let's try and guess so that we can see card. Um can see the queen drink me a so let's just see card games and then we can see drink me so they obviously like a house party situation, there's a teapot, so there's a tea, it's a British house party. The clock was the time on the clock. It's 12 midnight, so yeah, it's just someone's birthday, I guess. And it's gonna be the person's birthday very soon. There's this scarecrow guy, this lady in a dress. There's so much fun, guys. There's afternoon tea. Okay. Okay, so this is a little piece of British stuff. This chair hanging, what's the chair about, guys? Are people getting drunk or what's the chair for? It's 12 o'clock here again. Oh, it's 12 25 over here. So, what exactly was happening? Maybe they had fun for 25 minutes, or it was person's birthday. So, yeah, this card thing here, yeah, they really paid. Is that card? Okay, that's just card. Well, it looks like card. And then, what's this? Okay, so I'll just guess British tea party, birthday party. <laughs> okay, let's go and see what they did. So, this is called. Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter Tea Party. Oh bless. I can get the Alice in Wonderland. Well, at least I got tea party. <laughs> I got tea party. Yeah, so that is the inspiration behind. Oh, so if you want to